Hello friends. So in this video, I am going to show you how we can take product as a return. So you can see this is our bill detail. Let me show you again. You can see this is all our generated bill. Now here in view details, if you want to take this product as a return, then how we can take this product as a return that I am going to show you in this video. So first of all, I am going to open this view bill details page. So here I have view bill details page inside admin panel. Now here I am going to give heading return and now here td now inside this we have to write link so I am going to give here link. Now we want in red color, so I'm going to give your style and color red. Now let me check we are getting this or not. So here you can see we are getting this return link. Now we will create one page for coding. So for that here I'm going to give link. Here we are going to pass ID. equal dollar row id now we are going to check we got id or not over there i'm going to move mouse and i can see id 9 and id 10 so this is good now we have to create one page page name is return.php so inside admin panel new php file i'm going to take name return.php now first of all in this page we have to include connection file so for this here I include connection file now here we need to get ID so I am going to get ID we got ID over here now we have to declare some variable so I am going to declare some variable product company then we need product name then product unit then page in size price UTY and here total now we need to create one table also because if we are going to take this product as a return then we need to store in table for record purpose so here in this database I am going to create table return products and we need around 10 fields so I am going to create this Your primary key and we need to give auto increment then bill number then we need a return date then product company then product name then we need your product unit then pack in size then product price then we need product QTY and here we need total so now we are going to take here wear care And 
I'm going to save this now. Okay, so now we have this table. Oh, I did mistake in spelling, so I'm going to change table name. Okay. Okay. So our table is ready now. So now here we are going to write our code. So we are going to load the details of this all the product company product name of this our selected product. So here I am going to write We are going to take from billing details where id is equal to dollar id now your while loop while dollar o is equal to mysql if h array then dollar res now here we are going to fill this detail product company then product name dollar row product unit then we need packing size Then we need price. Then we need quantity. And then we need total. So here we are going to use dollar price multiply by dollar to ty. Okay, so now you can see we got all the details of selected product but now here we need to take bill number bill number we are uh, going to take from another table so for that here for bill number we have to write query so Where id is equal to dollar bill id and now here we are going to take bill number is equal to dollar row to bill number so now we have bill number now we have to insert this detail inside our return products table so for that we need two days date so i am going to take here one variable yeah in ymd format now Here we are going to perform insert query. So insert into return underscore products values and we need to pass 10 parameters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, exactly. 
now here bill number then bill number then return date product company okay to date date then product company then product name then product unit then packing size then price then quantity and here total yeah so now we perform this operation now we need to decrease uh, we have to increase this quantity in stock master table because you can see we are taking this product as a return so we have to increase the our stock so for that we have to write query for that update stock master we have to increase product qty so set product qty is equal to product qty plus dollar qty where product company is equal to dollar product company and product name is equal to dollar product name and product unit is equal to dollar product unit and packing size is equal to dollar packing size and now we have to write delete query to delete that items from here so for that let me write query for delete dollar link and now here delete from billing details where id is equal to dollar id and now we are going to give alert we are going to write here product okay and then we have to write window.location is equal to view build details dot php and here i am going to give id yeah this is fine now now we are going to check here you can see this is the bill number seven and we are going to take this tomato wafer so before that we are going to check here in stock master for tomato wafer we have quantity eight available quantity and here quantity five so i am going to take the return okay so this is deleted from here and here it should be okay something problem in update query so let me check okay let me comment these two things so we can check if any errors then 
so I am going to quantity 4 I am going to return no, we are not getting any error but it is not working let me check again okay mistake is here dollar qty okay so now let me take another bill now tomato wafer quantity 5 here we have quantity 8 return yeah you can see now here we have 13 and now we have to check we are getting values inside return products or not yeah we get three values so this works perfect this is by mistake so now let me delete this yeah so you can see this is working perfectly now we are going to uncomment this now here you can see now here you can see total bill is 50 i am going inside take return yeah and now here you can see it is zero so this way we can take product as a return thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again